This was once known as Kaptumo Dam in Baringo, managed by the Rift Valley Water Services Board. But come Monday morning, the dam was no more. All its water gone downhill through homes and farmlands. Behind the dam, water left a trail of destruction, leaving over a thousand families displaced. Sasa dam inyo imelipuka, manyumba, familia karibu miyamoja wamekua displaced, mavitu zao zimepepua, mboka, miti, na katalika zimepepua na maji jana. Ililipuka, tunapigiwa simu kama viongozi wa inji kwamba, ama ya semu hii kwamba dam imelipuka, tunataka kuja muone, musaidia watu. Mali ya watu imepepua, watu wanajitarisha kwenda Christmas, watu sasa wana kitu ya kukula. Ni bahati tu ilifanyika wakati watu walikuwa wameenda kwa sherehe watu wangekuwa kwa mashamba watu wengi wangepepwa na hii maji According to Wesley Tomno a resident in the area the dam which was constructed a year ago to provide them with water has left them counting losses Hii dam ilichengwa nia ya watu walikuwa wanahitaji maji imekuwa na shida ya maji miaka mingi na watu ya Kaptumo wakaandika proposal na serikali ikapitisha pesa 40 million kutengeneza dam ya Kaptumo Lakini tunapo angalia ile kazi imefanyika, imefanyika kazi duni, ambaye hata tuwezi kuelewa kama chilingi milioni tatu ilitumika kwa sababu hii dam ilichengwa na wiki moja, wiki mbili imemalizika. The residents have blamed the contractor and the Rift Valley Water Services Board for clearing the dam as safe, only for it to endanger their lives and cause destruction. Tunaomba serikali saidia watu, serikali saidia kukompensate wale mali yao ilipewa jana, Serikali wakuja wafanye karama na wakompensate wale walipoteza mali yao jana. A similar incident once occurred slightly over a year ago in Solai, Nakuru, that left over 47 people dead. Dennis Matarake, 24, Newscut.